We have wondrous electronic devices these days, don't we? We have computers that can do billions of calculations in a second. We have uh, cell phones that can transmit an image across the globe in a fraction of a second. We have uh, television sets on which we can watch hundreds of different channels at any given time. We can record them. We can go backwards and forwards watching them. Remarkable. But before we had these remarkable devices, there were automata. And that takes us back to the 18th century. Automata were really quite remarkable. Uh, they were made by watchmakers, and they were classic clockwork devices, but often in the shape of a human or an animal. And uh, they had all kinds of fascinating movements. One of the most amazing ones was a, a Swiss watchmaker by the name of Jacques Droz. And um, he uh, amazed King Ferdinand of Spain with his shepherd. And this was a little boy who actually played a flute and there was a barking dog beside him. Well, after that, uh, Jacques Droz went on to make what was truly amazing. This was the rider. It was in the shape of a young man who picked up a quill pen, dipped it into ink, and proceeded to write on a paper. He followed this up with the uh, draftsman who actually drew images on a paper, and the musician, a lady who played a piano. All of these were essentially little robots, the forerunners of our modern computers. Really, truly uh, unbelievable devices. I mean, I wish I had one of these live ones to show you. I, I don't, but uh, uh, I do have one that is really somewhat of an antique. It does date back to the late 1800s, and it's a little girl acrobat. And you can see that she performs some, really some remarkable feats. But of course, uh, this is nothing, nothing at all like the classics that were made by Jacques uh, Droz, that is the writer, the musician, and the, the draftsman. Today, uh, we still have these kind of clockwork uh, mechanisms. Uh, sometimes they are in the form of toys. Uh, this one is an interesting one, and it's quite obvious why I kind of like him. He's a little ducky. But uh, there are uh, others uh, that uh, are actually very special, like this one. Once more, of course, we're looking at some little ducks, and this one even makes a sound. It's a classical music box, but of course, it really is an automaton also. Ingenuity. It goes back a lot further than just our modern day computers. Well, the watch company that um, Jacques Adros founded eventually was purchased by the Swatch Company, and they make some exquisite watches today. These are really high-end ones. And uh, in 2021, in honor of um, Jacques Adros's uh, 300th anniversary of, of his birth, they came up with uh, a special watch. They only made three uh, sorry, eight. They only made eight of, of these watches. And uh, the watch uh, features uh, a bird that flash, uh, flaps its wings, a peacock that spreads its feathers, and a parrot that opens its mouth, all in homage to uh, the great uh, Jacques Droz's uh, automata. The price is rather steep. It's about uh, $750,000. And if any of you are thinking of a present for me, well, this one would work. And that for today is our Kappa Joe. Hmm.